of infantry warfare, always first to face the enemy fire, built to take ground by force. The tank is tough, armed, and designed to kill. fighting machines, tracked vehicles that carry lethal guns to the battlefront. The tank allows you to close with and destroy the enemy aggressively. And the tank is the primary means of decisive engagement on the battlefield today. From the First World War, when tanks broke through the barbed wire of the Western Front, to Desert Storm, when they liberated Kuwait, the tank has controlled 20th century history. Tank crews are skilled fighters. Most tanks carry a crew of four. Three of them are squeezed into the turret on the top of the tank. The driver lies inside the hull right at the front. The crew is protected by heavy armor, and today's tanks weigh up to 70 tons. Armies win wars only if their tanks are more advanced than the enemies. But no tank is completely invincible. There's a billion dollar arms industry dedicated to killing the tank. This is the U.S. Army's state-of-the-art tank, the M1A2, with its computer-controlled firing systems and digital communications. This giant lump of metal is highly sophisticated. The A2 is really the first information age tank. It's more like a computer behind an armored box. It really is the dawn of a new era in tanks. It's also extremely powerful. The gas turbine engine delivers an awesome 1,500 horsepower. The tank can go 30 miles an hour across country, allowing the gunner to engage targets out to and beyond 2,000 meters. That's more than most off-road vehicles can go at 30 miles an hour across country. You're shaking all over this place. Imagine driving 68 and a half tons. This thing weighs 68 and a half tons, fully combat loaded. Inside the rotating turret is the tank commander. Okay. The gunner sits at his feet. And the ammunition loader operates on the opposite side of the turret. Sir, Scott, Charlie Niner 2, headquarters 60, Redcon 1. I feel safer inside a tank than anywhere I've ever been before. Uh, armor on it is outstanding. The chemical protection system is outstanding. And there's nothing like firing that gun. I'll scan from TRP-1 to 2. Driver, you scan from TRP-1 to TRP-3. The tank is fitted with a laser rangefinder, which detects the target's position. Then the onboard computer determines the correct elevation and angle of the gun. 
This gives the crew a fearsomely efficient first round kill rate. Scale for troops. Identify troops. Target see fire. Gonna coax troops. Identified. Fire and adjust. On the way. They can hit up to six targets in a minute, as far as two and a half miles away. This tank is dangerous. It's got no no conscience whatsoever. I don't care what it kills. But it's made this made to kill. And that's where we use it. We don't take this tank lightly one bit. Anybody that's on the other side shouldn't either. Gunners, Sapo, tank, designate. Up, fire the gun. Out of leg. Target. While the gunner fires at one target, the commander can use his independent thermal viewer to identify the next. I'll scan from TRP-1 to TRP-2. So I can go ahead and stay on one target. He's already scanning for another target. So the process never stops. Gunner move out. Gunner take over. Never stop. Target. Identified. TRP-2. Destiny. As a loader, it's my job to get the rounds into the gun tube as fast as I can. The faster I get the round into the gun tube, the faster the gunner can hit the target. The fourth member of the crew is the driver. He sits in a space just big enough to fit his body inside the heavily armored hull of the tank. The battle position... When the seat is down, you're laid back. It's like driving a futuristic car with T-bars. It's like laying in a lazy boy recliner. It's, it's very nice. It's uh, comfortable. Target. Press. On the way. The driver responds Target. directly Target. to the commander's Target. instructions. He is my navigator. He's my overhead view of everything around. He sees more than I can see. He tells me where to go, what to do, because he knows what's ahead of us and what's behind us. Yeah, while you're driving, we'll go ahead and swing it around and head back over there, all right? Sergeant. Being in the Army as a tanker is a very good feeling. I feel pretty good with this tank. Commander 2, Headquarters 6-0, it's destroyed. Two enemy tanks, one set of troops. Time now, continue mission. Tank crews are trained in simulators, which create battle scenarios. Hey, you're up. To your right. You got him? They're firing out there. White helmet, right one. Oh, how much? How many rounds we got left? That one and two more. Hey, start close on me right now. Start close on me. There's an enemy right here. We're indexed. Good, because you got helicopters coming in on top of us now. You got hel green helicopters? Yeah, green helicopters. helicopters. Stand right. Gunners, Stabo, chopper, fire. Ah, I missed. You're going too fast. Say again, last. 27 vehicles destroyed. Yep, you got three now. You got the one in the middle coming up pretty close. The drivers learn to maneuver their tanks in these simulators. Back it up. The experience is so real, they will only need one and a half days training in a real tank. Well, to drive a, a basic tank, it's just like a, like a little kid would have a bicycle. Have two hands on the steering wheel. Just give it throttle. Just accelerate like a little kid playing with a motorcycle. Just giving it gas, and that's basically it. And then you got your start button. We don't have keys. It's just pushing the button, and it starts to tank up. And here in the front, with your steering throttle, you have an R for reverse, an N for neutral, a D for drive, and an L for load. And uh, stopping would be like a car. You have your brake pad here in the bottom, and just also you got your emergency brake on the other side. <laughs> 